The noise of a busy market. This is one of the best kind of examples of a medium pitched sound. The noise of a busy market basically corresponds to the sound associated with the medium length wavelengths. This medium pitch sound is due to a note of medium frequency. The vibrations of the sound waves associated with the noise of a busy market lie in between that of high pitch and low pitch sounds. In general, the sound waves that have a medium wavelength and medium frequency are responsible for the generation of such medium pitch sound. Ball falling on a floor. The sound due to a ball falling on the floor corresponds to the sound associated with the medium length wavelengths. This medium pitch sound is due to a note of medium frequency. The vibrations of the sound waves associated with the noise of a busy market lie in between that of high pitch and low pitch sounds. In general, the sound waves that have a medium wavelength, as well as medium frequency, are responsible for the generation of such medium pitch sound. This example clearly depicts a medium pitch sound. A wall punching. The sound produced by punching a wall corresponds to the sound associated with the medium length wavelengths. This medium pitch sound is due to a note of medium frequency. The vibrations of the sound waves associated with the noise of a busy market lie in between that of high pitch and low pitch sounds. In general, the sound waves that have a medium wavelength, as well as medium frequency, are responsible for the generation of such medium pitch sound. This example clearly depicts a medium pitch sound. String bass. The sound of a string bass corresponds to the sound associated with the medium length wavelengths. This medium pitch sound is due to a note of medium frequency. The vibrations of the sound waves associated with the noise of a busy market lie in between that of high pitch and low pitch sounds. In general, the sound waves that have a medium wavelength, as well as medium frequency, are responsible for the generation of such medium pitch sound. This example clearly depicts a medium pitch sound. Tuba the sound of a tuba corresponds to the sound associated with the medium length wavelengths. This medium pitch sound is due to a note of medium frequency. The vibrations of the sound waves associated with the noise of a busy market lie in between that of high pitch and low pitch sounds. In general, the sound waves that have a medium wavelength, as well as medium frequency, are responsible for the generation of such medium pitch sound. This example clearly depicts a medium pitch sound. Tube type stereo amplifier. It is one of the medium pitch sound examples. The sound of a tube type stereo amplifier corresponds to the sound associated with the medium length wavelengths. This medium pitch sound is due to a note of medium frequency. The vibrations of the sound waves associated with the noise of a busy market lie in between that of high pitch and low pitch sounds. In general, the sound waves that have a medium wavelength, as well as medium frequency, are responsible for the generation of such medium pitch sound. This example clearly depicts a medium pitch sound. Timpani The timpani sound corresponds to the sound associated with the medium length wavelengths. It is one of the medium pitch sound examples. This medium pitch sound is due to a note of medium frequency. The vibrations of the sound waves associated with the noise of a busy market lie in between that of high pitch and low pitch sounds. In general, the sound waves that have a medium wavelength, as well as medium frequency, are responsible for the generation of such medium pitch sound. This example clearly depicts a medium pitch sound. Waves sound. This example clearly depicts a medium pitch sound. The sound of waves corresponds to the sound associated with the medium length wavelengths. This medium pitch sound is due to a note of medium frequency. The vibrations of the sound waves associated with the noise of a busy market lie in between that of high pitch and low pitch sounds. In general, the sound waves that have a medium wavelength, as well as medium frequency, are responsible for the generation of such medium pitch sound. This example clearly depicts a medium pitch sound. It is one of the medium pitch sound examples. Sound of industries. It is one of the medium pitch sound examples. 
The sound produced due to industries corresponds to the sound associated with the medium length wavelengths. This medium pitch sound is due to a note of medium frequency. The vibrations of the sound waves associated with the noise of a busy market lie in between that of high pitch and low pitch sounds. In general, the sound waves that have a medium wavelength, as well as medium frequency, are responsible for the generation of such medium pitch sound. This example clearly depicts a medium pitch sound. Frequently Asked Questions – Facts Distinguish between the high pitch and medium pitch sounds? High pitch and medium pitch sound mainly differ in the characteristics that are possessed by their respective sound waves. High pitch medium pitch, they have shorter wavelengths, they have medium length wavelengths the peaks and the waves displayed on graphs are closer the peaks are a bit farther. Example, parrot, yes squawking. Example, noise due to a busy market. How can you determine the pitch of a sound? The pitch of a sound can be evaluated by observing its frequency. The vibrations in the waves do possess a frequency, and this frequency is responsible for the pitch. Let us assume that the vibrations have a higher frequency, and then it is found that the pitch is also high and creates a shrill sound. Similarly, if we witness a lower pitch, we can say that the wave vibrates with a lower frequency. When is a sound said to be loud? The loudness of a sound is decided by observing a parameter associated with the sound wave. The amplitude of a sound wave manages the sound phenomenon. The sound is regarded as a loud when the amplitude corresponding to that sound wave is high. It depends directly on the amplitude square. A property of a sound that enables us to differentiate between a loud and a faint sound is nothing but loudness. The frequency possessed by the sound wave has nothing to do with its loudness. It is only governed by the energy that our ear gains. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domains. scientific calculator and many more other tools.